Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take you through the eight sets of three program. Okay, it's a strength skill program. So that's the main goal: is to increase your skill at lifting something heavy. Uh, we're, starting every, we're starting every workout with some mobility. Look here. From the test, I saw everyone was stiff in the shoulders. So we do three shoulder mobility exercise. The first one is to dislocate, and Lynn is going to show that. Okay? So, you can see how she does it. She reaches out all the way to the bottom, up, over to the back. No problem. Okay? That's going to increase your front squat, help your, your, your overhead squat, and your external rotation. Number two, around the world 10 each way okay so she puts some, some tension on the band and goes around the body that's 10 each way good now the final one the band wall slide okay so with the band she's going to put some tension on the band bring it down to 90 degrees and slide it down the back. Okay. See the 90 degree bend in the arms and the good external rotation. One more. Just slide it back up. Good. Very good. Next, in the warm up, and realize the warm up is the same both days. So we only go through it once. 30 reps, broomstick twist. There we are. Okay, so take your broomstick, Custa, what is it? Custa scalp. Custa scalp, yeah. Okay, and you're gonna, she's going to hit 90 degrees, both sides, 30 reps. See there? A little faster. See how the hips, the hips stay in the middle? Working that twist. Keep the bar level, yes, very good. Last two, one, two, done. Back to the program. And we have our hip mobility, 25 bar duck unders. You can, everyone should know that. And then 25 bar duck unders with a squat twist. Okay. Lynn, would you show it? I'll just hold the bar. Okay. So you want to have it at a height about that if you, you could step over the bar. So about a height like that. Okay. The duck on and the duck under with the twist. You go duck under, turn, and up. Same to the other way, duck under, turn, to come up. Very good. Okay, that's the warm up. Now, we'll go through the We'll go through the quick lifts on the A and the B workout. Power shrug from mid thigh on A workout. The other one is the jump squat. Okay, let's go to the jump squat. The key is that you have a short ground contact time and that you jump as high as possible. It doesn't matter how, you don't have to go to a deep squat, but make sure that you squat correct. Lynn, you have a good jump squat. Could you show us a set of five on the jump squat? The maximum you're going to go to is 40% of your body weight. Okay. Yeah, to the side. Hands on the hips. High as possible, as fast as possible. Three, four, five. That's the jump squat. Okay. So when you learn it, learn it with your hands on the hips. Then you're going to work to where you have a bar on your shoulders. Okay. It's not, the, it's not the jump, it's the landing that's going to get you. So make sure that you start light. It's a quite high load when you land. But it will make you real fast and jump very high. Let's go to the power shrug, mid-thigh. Okay, It's a triple extension lift, so let's, let's go over to the rack. So here we are. Set up your rack mid thigh. It's a triple extension, extending the hip, the knee, and the ankle at the same time. Okay? Grip my bar, cock the wrist. 
shoulders over the bar. It's important that the chest is set. Okay? I push through my heels, I extend, and I shrug. Okay? So it's a quick lift, so boom. Now do it quick. Okay. That's your power shrug. Okay. Drive your feet to the floor. Drive with your legs. Extend and shrug at the top. Okay. If I want to do a free one, I can from the same position. So here, okay. it's the same as you find in all your lifts. Here and pop. <laughs> Okay, on the A workout we got the bench press, you should all know the bench press by now. We have the dumbbell bent over row. Okay, I'll show you the way. The, the best row is a self-supported row. I used to do rows where I would, I would be here, I would do them against the rack. Okay, but the best is with, oh, okay, this is the last lift I'll show. <laughs> Self-supported, elbow on the knee. Get your center of mass over your weight, okay? The feet are staggered, grip my weight, and pull it to my hip. Backs at 45 degrees. Big breath. And pull. Okay. It's okay to rotate a little bit, but don't punch your back. Hey Martin, we're just doing a we're doing a video of the uh, Happy New Year. special guest. Special guest. Happy yeah. New Year. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, front squat. Let's go through the front squat. That's a new lift. You must learn it correct. We got set up over there, so let's do the front squat. I think that I So when you look, Lynn, what you gonna do the front squat? Oh. When you're doing the front squat, easiest way to learn it is the no hands variation. You gotta reach out. You gotta make a rack for the bar to sit on. Okay. This is the easiest way to learn. The front squat. When you're going to lift heavy, there's two ways to do it. Either cross your arms or hold it like a power clean arm. Like so. That's an acceptable grip. Whoop. Or cross your arms. <laughs> It's just like the back squat, except it's in front. Most important thing is that you make a good rack. Now, Lynn is going to demonstrate the deadlift and the hack deadlift. No, it was you. That's why we put on 40. Well, Mass, you could, you, no, Mass, do it. She's dead. We both put in our time. So here we are. Workout B, deadlift, and hack deadlift. So here's the deadlift. You should all know this by now. Yep. Start position. Shoulders are over the bar. Weight is on the heels. Keep it closer to your body. Drag it up. There. Good. Now the hack deadlift is a deadlift behind the body. Same position. Shoulders over the bar. 
We see how the back is flat. It's the knees that shoot forwards. It's more for the thighs, the front side of the body. It's basically the front squat equivalent of the deadlift. Good. You, everyone should know all the rest of these lifts. Walking lunges with weight. Ooh, that's a brutal finisher. So, Mas, could you just show the the walking? Yeah. <laughs> so make sure it's a long stride. Longer. Really reach it out. It's the finisher. You have 25 on each. So it's a real burner. You probably get sore while you're doing it. Then you know you're going to be sore after. Okay. Good. That's that's it. Okay, so here we have, we can actually even see, these are, I think these are Lynn's lifts. So, she's figured in her kilos and her tonnage for the day. So, hack deadlift, 900 kilos lifted. Pretty good. No, 960. So, if anybody's got more questions, send me a text or an email. But that should cover the, the workout. Good luck with it. Special thanks to Mass and Lynn. Yeah.